Welcome to Belgium. Yes, really, we are in Belgium, but it doesn't matter because it could be anywhere in the world. This is a standard hotel room and unfortunately that's the nature of many of our lives today. If you work in a company, you work from home. And if you are a leader, you are required to lead from a distance. And that can be incredibly difficult. One reason it can be very difficult to lead from a distance is that when we are there in person, we can typically get away with a lot more than when we are further apart. And so in today's video, I want to talk about the three key ingredients that you need to integrate into your leadership style so that you can be effective also when you're working from home. The first key ingredient might be a little bit counterintuitive, and that is you have to be present. What I mean by that is you have to be present in your knowledge of the people themselves. Do you know their hobbies? Do you know about their families? If you're working with them day to day in the office, you might get away with not knowing about these things. But if you are leading from a distance, it is far more important to have that additional connection. You also need to know about the products and the processes that your team are working with, because if you don't, not only can you not help them, but they also will feel a lot more disconnected from you than if, say, you were with them in the office. So again, you might get away with a lot more while you are in the office, but when you are leading from a distance, you have to be present in the knowledge about people, products and processes. And if you keep those in mind, you will realize that you become more and more productive in leading from a distance. The second thing I suggest you consider is to become far more proactive in your communication. For your employees, it has been incredibly easy to see you in the office, knock on the door, come in for a chat, and if they needed help, they will ask for it straight away. Now, if they are working from home and you are leading from home, that's not gonna happen anymore. So it is important that you reach out to them more consistently and more proactively to ask whether they need help, whether they need assistance or they just want to have a chat with you. And if you do that, you maintain the productivity levels that you know from before. The third thing to have in mind when you lead from a distance is to provide continuity. People want to feel that nothing has changed. Of course, we look around us and especially in this year, in the year 2020, lots of things have changed around us. And yes, we are working from home. We are no longer going into the office. However, if you now introduce another component of uncertainty, if you suddenly change your leadership style or if you change the way how you deal with performance issues, both high and low performance, then that just introduces another level of uncertainty and that will surely impact on your productivity. However, if you continue to speak to people how you did before, if you deal with both high and low performance issues as you have before, then you also introduce a level of certainty, something that your employees need, especially in times of these. So what I wish for you is that you maintain this productivity level with your teams, regardless of whether leading from home is a choice or is born out of necessity at this time. My name is Kai Liefert. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.